and welcome to our special Christmas broadcast, brought to you by BCTV. My name is Levi Brummer. And I am John Suffield. So, Levi, what are we going to be talking about this time? This week, we'll be giving you an update on sports, ideas for last-minute Christmas gifts, and the recipe for the best hot chocolate. Hot chocolate sounds nice. And we'll be announcing the winner of the Christmas tree contest, doing some special Christmas lunchroom interviews. And we'll finish with a Christmas sound off and prayer with Father Sam. First off, we have Jeffrey with sports. Last week, wrestling won their duel against South and are currently 2-0 in duels. Swimming wasn't, was focusing on training and didn't have any competitions last week. Boys basketball is currently 1-4 after a close game against East. The girls have been having a fantastic season and are currently undefeated with a record of 5-0. Back to you, Levi. Thank you, Jeffrey. So, Levi, how has your Christmas shopping been going? I haven't gotten the chance yet, John. Well, if you're like Levi, let's go to Carly with some last-minute gift ideas. So Carly, what are some Christmas gift ideas? Well, I'll show you first one. Hand me that cup right there. Alrighty. So all you want to do is leave the straw in so the candy will go around it. Okay. You put the candy in it. Okay. About halfway full. And you stick the gift card in it. Okay. And put the candy around it. And there you have it. Oh. So what's our next item? So the next one is for your hot cocoa lovers. So you just put your hot chocolate, chocolate chips, and sprinkles in there with a funnel. It makes it a lot easier to get it in there. That's cool. And then you just want to take the top of the ornament with, the, with a ribbon tied on it, and you can just put whatever ribbon you want. The lid on it, and then you can buy a mug, Christmas mug, and then you just tie it to this. And it's a perfect ornament, and it's for a perfect drink. That's awesome. Yep, and then when they want to use it, they just put the milk or water in it and dump it in and heat it up. That's awesome. That's a neat way of giving a gift. Yep. What's next? So the next one, you just take a basket, put a blanket in it, and then you want to take some fuzzy socks, or if it's for a man in your life, then just to use a different type of sock, like their favorite sports uh -huh. team or something, and then make some puppy chow, stick it in there, and then you can add this in there, and there you go. As the temperature continues to drop, a good warm drink is sometimes just what you need to drive the chill away. The weather outside is frightful. And the hot chocolate is so delightful. Here's Allison with the recipe of the best hot chocolate. Hi. Today I'm going to teach you how to make the best hot chocolate for this holiday season. This hot chocolate serves five and is a great addition to any winter gathering. You will need marshmallows, half a cup of sugar, cocoa, vanilla, milk, and a third a cup of water. First, you need to stir together the sugar. Cocoa. salt and vanilla, and water in a medium saucepan. Then add your milk, let sit for two minutes, and you're all ready. And now you get to enjoy your hot chocolate. Last week, we asked you to submit us pictures of your family's Christmas trees. There were many wonderful entries, but the best one was from Chelsea Knipp. Congratulations on having the best Christmas tree. You can pick up your prize from Mrs. Cobras in the broadcasting room. Santa went into the lunchroom to ask some students what they want for Christmas and what traditions they have for holidays. Ho, ho, ho. What's your favorite Christmas tradition? Making Christmas cookies. What is your favorite Christmas movie? It's probably Elf. I like that one. So, what are your holiday traditions? Well, usually we 
open the presents around like in the morning and then we go to some Chinese, some Chinese restaurant. Ho, ho, ho. What's your favorite Christmas song, Victor? Oh, my favorite song is Feliz Navidad. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, what, do you have any awesome holiday traditions you do? No. Are you sure? Ho, ho, ho. Where do you go for Christmas, Gunnel? I go to my grandma's. Sounds wonderful. What would you like for Christmas, little boy? Um, I want a Susie Talks a Lot and a Red Ryder BB gun. I'll see what I can do. Merry Christmas. Thanks, Sam. Finally, the Bishop Carroll community and Father Sam would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And with this final send-off. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next semester. Hashtag stay classy, Carol. Bye-bye. Ho, 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 from BCTV. Merry Christmas!